Alrighty guys, welcome to the final part of this restoration update. This is part four of this of my 1965 Fetters Weather Wheel restoration update as of December 22nd, 2021. So this is also how we're going to start off the new year by continuing restoration progress on my Fetters Weather Wheel. So anyway. Guys, let's show you the progress here. So there you guys can see our thermostat, which um, works properly now. Oh, oh, guys, hold on a second. Guys, I think the knob is going to come off. All right, guys, I think the knob is going to... All right, guys, we got the knob off. So that worked out pretty good. The rubbing alcohol did the trick. So we were able to get the knob off now, so we're going to go ahead and put it on, and we're, uh, we're going to test the thermostat. Okay, so we got the knob back on. We were able to successfully get it off. I knew the rubbing alcohol would do the trick, so that's why I did that. So, anyway guys, here's our, uh, here's our thermostat knob, by the way. This is the original knob. So... Okay, well, now we got that taken care of, guys. Let's go ahead and test the thermostat. So yes, it is real. It's pretty cold down here in the basement. It's probably about, uh, probably about forty-eight to fifty degrees. So yes, guys, I I had this running too. Um, I have the I, I have my Emerson fan behind it, so the Emerson fan will blow air into the condenser. Of the of my little refrigerant based heater here, which used to be a dehumidifier, so the air actually will come out under here, and the heat will therefore disperse into the room. So I found um alternate heating method. You know that's a good way to use an old dehumidifier that doesn't dehumidify well, but makes an excellent heater, and it's much more efficient. It it consumes um, probably not even a little more. Then it's actually more energy efficient than a conventional resistance heater. So I put this to good use down here during the winter. Uh, it's the first year we're doing it. So anyway, guys, let's go. Let's get off the bunny trail here, and let's go ahead and test my Fetters thermostat after cleaning. Okay, so I'm gonna put you guys like this so you can see the receptacle. Um, this extension cord runs to my Emerson fan. I just plugged it in. So anyway, let's plug the fetters in and uh, let's test the thermostat. So because it's cold down here, we're going to trick the thermostat. So I'm going to unplug it real quick here. So um, you know, we can safely trick the thermostat and get it to kick on. So I'm going to pause you guys for just a second here while I trick the thermostat. All right. We, we tricked the thermostat, guys. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and plug the fetters in. Let's go ahead and turn it on. We're going to get you guys near the compressor so we can hear it. There's our uh, freshly repainted Tecumseh AJM15-94. All right, guys, here we go. We're going to test the thermostat. So I just pushed the switch on. We're going to turn the thermostat on. Music to the ears. All right. Worked out like a charm, guys. As you guys saw, the thermostat was more responsive when I when I was able to trick it before I even plugged it in. I tricked the thermostat. So all you do, guys, is um, put a heat source near it or, you know, when you breathe out, you know, just make sure the warm air... You know, goes to the bimetal strip in the thermostat, so it bends in response with the heat, and therefore it, it makes contact to complete the, um, the compressor circuit. So anyway, guys, that was very successful. Um, I didn't think it was going to work, but it did, and I'm very happy with the results, guys. So um, 
so guys, pretty much the only thing left we, we're going to have to do in the cleaning procedure. Um, that's going to be in another update, though. So we're going to do that in the new year um, for my Fetters weather wheel. We are going to, you know, we're going to do um, another restoration update. Um, I don't know if we're going to be doing it on New Year's or not, but that's what I'm planning on. So we'll do it in the morning because um, I've got a New Year's rail fan trip. Um, I'm going to be heading up the La Plume Freight Depot to try to catch um, a New Year's Train 11Z. Um, I heard it was going to be a long one. I heard they were going to have DPUs like they usually do. So um, anyway, we're going to try to get the 11Z if possible. But anyway, guys, um, so far that part, that all worked out, as you guys saw. So guys, um, the only reason why we're not doing the capacitors right now, or the capacitor for the compressor right now, so I'll show you which one that is, um, that way you guys don't get confused. Uh, the small one was for the fan motor. It's in the video, you know, where it was the huge find the day after I got it and turned it on. So um, anyway... Um, so basically what we did was we just cleaned the switches, we clean, I cleaned the switch and cleaned the thermostat and that worked out really well and I'm very, I'm very happy with the results. So anyway, um, the reason why we're not doing the capacitors yet is because, you know, I need to get a discharging tool from, so guys, just so if you're wondering what the microfarad rating is on this capacitor, this one, this big guy right here, that's a 25 microfarad capacitor, 25 microfarads. So anyway, what we're going to be doing is we are going to, you know, continue restoration progress. Um, hopefully I'll be able to get some coil winding wire and um, hopefully I should be able to, um, now I don't know exactly when guys, so don't quote me right now. Um, my goal is to um, hopefully... Um, rewind the fan motor hopefully by the start of cooling season next year uh, it's usually around May or June it's usually when I uh, you know fire them up for the first time um, during cooling season but anyway guys I forgot to tell you you know that my weather wheel also makes a good heater um, so anyway guys I've been finding other ways to um, keep that fan spinning to um, keep air moving across the condensers I use my electric leaf blower um, I have a weed eater, leaf blower, and that thing is strong. I mean, it got it got that fan motor up to um, low speed, you know, up to the normal low speed it would normally run at. So we are still getting the low BTU output on um, low cool. Um. But anyway, guys, I hope um I hope you guys. So for those of you who um have Fetters weather wheels, um. I appreciate. I thank you guys very much. Um, for those of you who've been posting videos of your Fetters weather wheels, on like restoring them, getting them operating, getting them operational again, I I really appreciate it, guys. I've been watching your guys' videos, and I found a lot of useful information. Um, the air conditioner guy, you you especially, buddy. Um, you know, explaining how your uh, your sixty five weather wheel. Uh, it was the one you did on your 57 Fetters weather wheel, um, where it was the where the fan unit came out the same way as the 65. So um, anyway, mine's a 65, just uh, three bolts, and hopefully I can get the one bolt to come out so we can um, get the fan unit out and I can get have the fan motor checked. Um, so my Voltec instructor said he would check the fan motor. So you know once I got it out. So um, hopefully by then we'll have the motor out and we could get it looked at. And um, hopefully by then, guys, I'll have another update for you um, on the fan motor. On um, Hopefully I'll be able to rewind it. If not, I will get the motor rewound um, so we can get it operational again. But anyway, guys, I really appreciate your guys' feedback. Um, I know it's the very first video I posted. Uh, not the very well, very first video I posted the Fetters weather wheel on a high qual on my high quality Nikon video camera. Um, you know, I I saw some feedback from Vanberg HVAC. Um, I appreciate your feedback. Um, I'm not sure if I heard it from anybody else or not, but I'll double check that. Um, 
and then uh, the day we got the day after we got it when we did the um, test run when we did um I think it was the like, third run I think I I forget guys um, but anyway, I did test it the day I got it, and it worked just fine. So, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, feel free to comment down below. And uh, my email address is in the first video. So if you go to part one of this video, that's where you'll find my email address. So you can email me, email me with questions. And um, when you guys have the questions, I would prefer you guys list the specific part of the video where you had the question. And that way I can, that way I'll know exactly what to explain to you guys. But anyway, guys, Fetter's Restoration is so far so good. I will keep you guys posted um, on uh, when the other one will be ready, when the other AC will be ready. Um, so I'm not going to reveal what brand it is yet because I gave you guys a quiz in the, um, previous in the previous part of the video. Where I'm have I'm gonna have you guys guess the brand that it is. Um, but anyway, uh, that's in the third video. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Feel free to ask me questions. Feel free to comment down below what you think. And um, we we'll, I will see you guys on our next Fetters update. But anyway, guys, we'll still be recording other videos though. Maybe um we'll show some um piano action work that I'm doing. Let um, me yeah, show you guys a uh, tuning procedure. Um, yeah. So anyway, guys, before we go, let me show you my... Um, well, it's a, technically a dehumidifier, but I use it as a heater. Um, I'll show you guys the setup I have for it to, um, to keep it from overloading. So anyway, guys, it's fan broke. Uh, there it is right there. The, the motor stopped working, so I have to get a new motor. Um, I know I thought it wasn't worth the trouble. I have a fan that works, so I'm just gonna use whatever would we'll use what I have. So anyway, let me show you guys this setup here. Uh, so I'm not gonna turn it on obviously as of right now, but I I will turn the Emerson fan on so you guys can hear it run. But um anyway, let me show you guys how it works. So if I want to get heat, um, besides having the fetters running, I run this baby right here. It was originally a dehumidifier, but because it did not dehumidify well, and of course the fan broke, or the fan motor broke. So anyway guys, let me show you my solution to that. And um, so instead of it blowing heat out the back, instead, the heated air is going to come through this, this coil first, so that's the condenser, and then it's going to, the air is going to deflect off the evaporator. So instead of the air going through the evaporator and getting chilled, some of the most of the air will not go through the evaporator. Instead, it's going to come out right here, and this is where the heated air comes out and it warms up the shop a little bit. So anyway, I'm going to show you guys that real quick here. I'm not going to turn the dehumidifier. I'm not going to turn the heater on. But I'm going to turn on the fan so you guys can see how we get the heat. So basically, guys, this. That's how we get the heat. My Emerson fan blows blows air into the condenser, and then the heated air is blown into the shop to keep me warm. It's a great alternative, you know, if you don't have heat in your basement. Um. So anyway, I hope you guys found this video useful. So let me turn on the fan real quick. So I'm gonna mince it. So what I mean by mince it, guys, so I'm going to give it a little starting spin. Oh, excuse me. I'm going to give it a starting spin and put power to it. Yes, guys, i got to hold it down. Let's see. So you guys see the fan's blowing air into the condenser right now. So if I kick the heater on, if I kick the dehumidifier on, well, now a heater... The fan will keep the condenser from getting too hot and it will keep the compressor from overloading. So yeah, there's the fan. Now just so you guys know, um, my, Emerson, my Emerson fan right there, I got that two years ago and it's still working really well and I have not had to touch that motor 
I, I mean, I did an electrical check on it. He found out it was good. And I was like, you know what? That's a good sign. Let's keep it that way. So I run it once a day, you know, to, just to keep air moving down here. And of course, when this baby, when this, when this, when this one's running. So anyway, guys, I hope you found this video useful. Like I said, oh, oh excuse me, guys. Sorry about that. Anyway, I hope you guys find this video useful. You know, if you happen to have an appliance like mine, like similar model number, like same wiring, you know, feel free to say so, guys. Don't be afraid. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this, and we'll see you. Uh, this next Fetters update will be in the new year. So thanks, guys. And also, guys, um, it's also um, happy holidays. You know, Merry Christmas. Um, happy New Year's. Um, in case if I don't see you guys by then. So, anyway, let's hope this all goes well. So, um, you guys have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And um, the next Fetters restoration update will be in the new year. Thanks, guys. Bye.